Easy Low Down Lovelies, you catch me here at Prime Studios on Kurtzell Road as it is a Red Bull Music Academy UK Tour Leeds edition. Inside there is an amazing exhibition based on grime music, a culture purely British which has taken over the planet. Let's find out a bit more about grime. Lowdown lovelies, you join me just chilling in what looks like a flat that could be in many a city up and down the country and that is because we are at a grime exhibition and this is just real life living. This is cosy, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Do you feel you're right, relaxed? You're I, honestly, I'm so chilled right now. Like. I feel like we should be drinking a can of lager right now. You know, taking this room, for example, a lot of people would have just come back from maybe a night out, and this is where the ideas started flowing. This is where the, the champagne dreams almost were being built and practicing and spitting came from. You've got the PlayStation over there, like a lot of beats were built on PlayStation back in the day. Um, like you say, yeah, like people would just go back to each other's houses. Like a lot of grime was built on mates, mates from school, mates from college. So yeah, a lot of it would have just been in places like this. I'm looking at that, that era, that, that build up from that, and how was it like reminiscing to that point so wouldn't so we put a book together um, we put this is grime together me and Olivia this is grime me and Olivia um, so Olivia's a photographer and she's the woman that's like made these amazing exhibition come to life obviously a very creative person and yeah what we wanted to do was I just wanted to document this culture because there's been two or three books already which have been amazing books but they were all photography led and um, what I wanted to do was what I suppose is called an oral history so I wanted to talk to like the Wileys the JMEs, the Lethal Bees. This is Grime is kind of about capturing the spirit and the essence of the culture. With podcast and streaming, do you think it's easier for people to get their music out there, but is it also difficult for it to get heard by the right people? Yeah, because I think it's like a, sort of a double-edged sword slightly, because yeah, you can you can listen to anything, but you have got so many choices. There's like, oh, wow, there's hundreds, millions, billions of tracks available online now, so how do you filter that? Mm. And I think what Pirate Radio was back in the day was like the filter. It was that you had someone in a position of like, authority, that idea of kind of having someone kind of curate it, but, and not someone like a Google yeah. or, <laughs> do you know what I mean, like a YouTube, it was like actual people from, from here. Do you feel that grime is the new punk? I think so. I think in the book, um, why he talks about punk's influence on himself, it's not like he ever sat down and listened to punk, but he sort of looks at now and it's like, oh, that's kind of what, you know, what we were doing without realising. We were shouting on the mic, going against the system. We were doing it all independently outside of a record label and we were doing it for the love and the culture and the need to express them to express themselves.